RCCTL is a command line utility available on OpenBSD that helps you to manage the daemons. A daemon is a process that starts when the computer boots up and usually it ends when the computer shutdowns. It's a long running process most of the time and it does a specific task, checking something frequently and so on. As I said, it usually stops when you shut it down, shut down the computer, or you shut it down manually, or it fails, or some other reasons. The aim of this video is to go through the RCCTL command and explore it. Of course, not all of it, but the most useful functionalities of it. And in case that you want to continue basically enriching your knowledge, you can go through the man page itself is a very comprehensive man page has all the necessary examples with everything that one can wish for and is also not convoluted and complicated just a note this rcctl is basically built around a file called rcconf so let's say if in another universe we didn't have this rcctl command what we had to do was to go to a slash etc and then modify the rcconf file ourselves but that's not the case so here is also mentioned that do not modify this stuff so this is used by the rcctl so now let's explore the rcctl command a bit as a starter let's say we want to get list of all the available daemons or services on the system so we can just do rcctl ls all and these are the all the available daemons on the system and for example let's say we want to see details or the flag of let's say one daemon so for that one we can say get for instance xeno dm and this it returns and all the stuff about it right the configurations etc and the next thing is that how we can actually check the status see whether a daemon is running or not so we can just say check xeno dm for example it says the status is okay and if we do sshd it says fail fail here does not mean that actually the daemon is failed it means it's not running for whatever reason and in case that you want to know whether it's failed or what happened you can actually go through the logs we are going to cover that shortly let's say now we want to actually see whether this sshd in this system is enabled is disabled or not so remember that we use ls all we can actually just type rcctl ls and it has bunch of other sub parameters that we can pass to right so let's say now we get failed so for this one we need the root privilege so it lists all the stuff that failed right so httpd failed qemu failed rsyncd failed and so on and we want to get the list of the all the ones that are on so these are the ones that are enabled right and which one are started we can do that also and which one are not started and so on right so this ls comes very handy again whenever you forgot it because i usually forget you can just type rcctl ls and it just prints a small usage so now let's say we want to enable the sshd right so we can just say do as rcctl enable sshd one may say okay so if we do now let's say on do we get sshd let's see and we have sshd here right and then another person may come and say all right so now it means if i do check sshd it should be okay and we see no it's fail why because we enabled it yet we haven't started it that means if we actually restart the computer it will be in a if we run but if you want to actually start it right now, so what we have to do, we have to do rcctl start sshd. And we can again just check rcctl check sshd and we say that it's actually okay. Let's say now I want to restart it for whatever reason. I changed it, I, I made some changes somewhere. Now I want to restart it. So I can just say restart ssd and it restarts 
Now I want to stop it, right? So I can say stop SSHD, so it stops. Let's say now my actually SSHD is disabled. So how I can disable it? Just type disable. Now let's say I want to start a disabled daemon, whether it works or not. So I can say start SSHD. So here our CCTL gives us an indication. It says, hey, since this one, the flag is no means it's disabled. Since the flag is no, in case that you want to start it, you need to pass dash F to force it. So we can actually do that, SSHD, and basically it's force to start it. And we can also stop it again by the dash F flag. So let me actually show one thing that I have forgotten and that's about the configurations and how it changes when you enable and disable a daemon. Now SSHD is disabled, right? So you can see the flag here is no. But what happens if I say enable SSHD? And if I get the configuration, we see that this no is removed from it. So this is another way of figuring out whether the daemon is enabled or disabled, right? So I'm going to disable it again, disable SSHD. Let's say I want to change a configuration. So we have get SSHD. I want to change this timeout from 30 to 60. So maximum timeout for this daemon would be 60 seconds, right? So I can say RCCTL set name of the daemon that I want to set plus this name after underscore. This is the important one. Don't pass the entire thing. You just need to pass the, the name or whatever the string after the underscore timeout a space not equal again 60 so this is a bit tricky right so if i run it it actually gives me error it says hey you are trying to change the configuration of a daemon that is not even enabled so we cannot do it can we we can see nothing change right so what we have to do we have to first enable it and then set sshd timeout and then 60 and if you get it you can see the timeout changed to 60 so i'm going to change it back again to 30. the next topic is about the locks where do you find a daemon lock there's no specific answer for it because it depends on the daemon there are multiple possibilities most of which ends up with a slash war a slash log directory maybe your daemon logs the stuff under messages which is general system log so we can actually check it this is about uh, the last logs is about the gedit stuff right that's one possibility another possibility is that most of the daemons let's say those that are properly created and the developers will were sane coders they actually log the stuff under a slash daemon so if we actually get the logs here we can see we got a bunch of stuff here i'm not gonna go through all of it because there is some private things there down there right but we can see for example open vpn logs we have vmm logs etc but also some of the demons they may have their own locks so you can just do ls and then figure out whether there is a lock there for it or not the next topic is about how to create a daemon this is an interesting topic it's not so basic but it's also not complicated so all the demons are under rcd directories so here are all the demons that we have right so I have created OpenVPN daemon here and we can see the structure is super simple. This line is fixed and then you have a daemon here. This is the bare minimum one. It can be more complicated. For example, you can have something like daemon user and these two lines are also fixed. I'm not going into the details of how what each of this line means but simply put if you want to pass your script or whatever just declare here daemon and then pass the full qualified path and then if your script accepts any parameter pass it to to here what i'm going to do is to copy the open vpn daemon and create a something called test service 
now what we have to do is to create a, the actual test series so we are going to the slash let's say tmp here and we say test series.sh and i am going to copy a simple script this would be our test service script i'm not a, so much of a sane developer so i said hey my log file would be a slash war log test service i'm just joking the reason that i put it here because i want to explicitly show it and not go through the bunch of other logs what this basically simple script does it just like there is a while loop here endless while loop and here it just gets the date and time says i'm alive put it into the log file it slips 10 seconds and rip it get the date log sleep repeat and now i'm going to actually give the enough permission to it so we have it now what we are going to do is go back to the slash rcd file and we are going to do the test service here i have to actually do it with the do as because we are going to modify the file and we are going to pass the path of the script right so a slash tmp a slash test service.sh here's the catch because this script that we have written is just endless loop and is a foreground process if we try to enable and start the daemon it will actually just hangs there for 30 seconds and then afterwards it says it timed out so we have to kind of signal the rcctl that hey this one is a background so we say rc bg equals to yes as i said there's a bunch of parameters for it we cannot cover all in one video maybe later i create a video about it so we signaled already that hey this is a background process we should be good to go now if we say ls and then let's say we get the list of the off of course rcctl we should get the test service somewhere test and we can see okay we have a test service right it's a moment of truth now what we are going to do is to enable it so rcctl enable test service so it's already enabled but it's not running right so i'm just saying start test service see what happens so it's a starting but nonetheless we should have a slash war log here and if we do a test service we can see actually it just keeps logging and bugging right and this one okay it says it worked i think the reason that it took a while to work was because in the script there is 10 seconds to sleep and rcctl is waiting for one cycle and then says okay or maybe there is other reason that i'm not entirely sure so i'm going to stop this demon and also stop this video thanks for watching have a great time cheers I want to thank all of the amazing Patreon and Coffee supporters. Your generosity and support means the world to me and keeps me really motivated to continue creating content. Thanks again for your generosity and contribution.